Welcome back to another video, guys, and as always, thank you for tuning in. As you can see, we are in the car and we are on our way to a challenge that has been presented by Bush Gardens Williamsburg, which is the Ride 5 Coaster Challenge. Over at Bush Gardens Williamsburg, a lot of their coasters are hitting huge anniversary milestones, and we'll get into that a little bit more, but this is a challenge that I cannot refuse. So, Bush Gardens, challenge accepted. We are on our way. Alrighty guys, so we've made it to the park and like I said today, we are accepting Bush Gardens Ride The Five Challenge, a 2022 coaster anniversary. There's a lot of anniversaries going on and you'll see the five coasters are right here. So basically, you know, this year is a momentous year. So Bush Gardens has decided to celebrate this time during May 19th through the 30th. I believe the challenge is to see if you could ride all five of these within an hour. I don't know if we could do it within an hour because today seems like a very busy day here at the park, but we have Pantheon, which just opened, so it doesn't have a momentous anniversary, but we have Alpengeist that's been around for a while, Griffin, Verbolton, and Invader. All five of these will be conquered today. Not sure if it will be within the hour. We'll try our best to do it within the hour, but for sure, we'll get a ride on all of them. Now, let's get into the park and have some fun. And then as we go through each one of these different coasters, I'll talk a little bit about them and their momentous anniversary. All right, and we are inside the park and we're making our way through. It is a busy day, but it also still is the food and wine festival. So we'll try to stop and get our lanyard completed. I think we have four items still left. Now, I don't know whether or not to start the clock once I get to the ride, or should I start it right now? Because if so, it's about to be 12 o'clock. We're about like six minutes from 12 o'clock. And I think we're gonna start off with Pantheon. So we've made it over to Pantheon where we're gonna be starting our challenge today. It does say it's a 58 minute wait. So if we go by the timetable, we've already gonna, we're already gonna fail once we get in line for this. But let's go ahead, let's get Pantheon out of the way and see if it really is a 58 minute wait. Alrighty, we got Pantheon in the bag, but it did take a lot of time. Right now it is 12.48. So if we have any chance of finishing all the rides in 60 minutes, we need to do all the rest of the four in 14 or 12 minutes. Not happening. So we're gonna take it slow, we're gonna grab some food, but we will get all five rides done today. Now with my annual pass, one of the perks is for this whole entire month, you get one free food and wine item for every visit. So why don't we spend that on some sangria? And hopefully that'll help cool us down before the next ride. Alrighty, so we just tucked on over behind where the sangria is served so I could cool down for a second now that the one ride Pantheon took so long and I'm sure Verbolton is gonna eat up the rest of that hour no point in rushing we could cool down with a nice sangria frozen sangria and ooh, that hits the spot in this heat so the next ride will be Verbolton we're just gonna do these in order so next will be Verbolton then Alpengeist then Invader and is that it I think that might be all of them Pantheon Verbolton Invader Alpengeist, there's one missing. We'll figure it out. But as we get to each one of them, oh, Griffin, I will give you a little bit of a clip as far as like the momentous achievements that they've had. Most of them is basically an anniversary year. Some of them a lot older than others, but all of them are coming to, to a pretty crazy age here at Busch Gardens Williamsburg, and they continues to deliver all the fun. Verbolton will be our next one. Not one of the oldest ones on the list, but we'll talk about that in just a moment. All right, so just before we get on Verbolton, 
I wanted to give you a little bit of an info behind what it's celebrating this year. It's celebrating its 10th year, Brave the Black Forest. Since 2012, Verbolton, seated on the edge of the Black Forest in Oktoberfest Village, has kept riders on the edge of their seats with the mystifying thrills featuring first of its kind elements. This indoor slash outdoor multi-launch coaster is unlike anything you have ever experienced. Do you dare brave the Black Forest? Ooh, 10 years, that's crazy. Let's get on inside and see how long it'll take us to get on Verbolton. Bolton in the bag. Always a great coaster here at Bush Gardens Williamsburg and our second. We're a little bit over an hour now, actually a good amount over an hour, an hour and 32 minutes to be exact. And we still have three coasters to go. So the challenge will be complete as far as completing all the rides. But next we have Alpengeist. That'll be our next coaster. They're not gonna be done within an hour, but they all will be done. Let's get to Alpengeist. And as we make our way through Oktoberfest, per as usual, RIP Dark Castle, but rumor has it that construction is alive and well within Dark Castle, which makes me wonder about Hollow Scream. There's probably not gonna be a house in here, and I wonder when that coaster will open. It's rumored to be an indoor dark coaster, so super cool, family friendly, but that means that we lose a house location for Hollow Scream. I think personally I push this benefit a bit too much because I don't get any benefit from actually telling you guys about this, but the memberships here are well worth it. You get a lot of your favorite year events included in the past, like Howl Scream and Christmas Town, which I love dearly and we were just talking about a moment ago, and it saves you a lot of money. Today we got a free item for the Food and Wine Festival, and also for this month they have a free Bring a Friend ticket if you have water country included in your pass as well. So something that I definitely recommend and can, if you're frequenting the park, can make the visit a lot more budget friendly. Or if you're coming one time, sometimes the parking is $30. So it could really save you a lot of money if parking's included. actually see our two next coasters right here. You have Alpengeist and Verbolton out there in the distance and Le Scute right here. But let's do a little deep dive into Alpengeist. All right, so our oldest ride here on the list, 25 years is what Alpengeist is celebrating this year. When it opened in 1997, Alpengeist shattered world records as one of the tallest and fastest inverted roller coasters in the world. The legendary Ghost of the Alps plummets through the slopes from a height of 195 feet and hurdles riders through six straggling in inversions at a speed of 67 miles per hour. Grab your skis, it's time to hit the slopes. And it's our turn to get on Alpengeist. All right, so Alpengeist in the bag. I gotta say, that's one of the rides where the front row is drastically better than any other row. We were in the second to last row. Kind of get the experience of what the last row is like, but the first row is the best by far. Not to say that it wasn't a good ride in the second to last row, but it's just, I could tell the difference significantly. And it was also kind of interesting to see the painting coming along, because it's not completed. So you'd see as you ride like firsthand, up close and personal, some of the areas that aren't painted and some of the areas that are painted with the new fresh light blue color. So that was kind of cool. Now, we are way past our 60 minutes, but we still have two rides to get in, which is Invader and Griffin. Before we do that, I think we will get, go to the Brazilian booth and get some food. Let's go ahead and do that. Now we were here recently with Monique and we did not get anything from this particular booth, but I think 
churrasco is a must. We still have four of the 12 or 13 tastings or 15 tastings left and we got to get them all done today. Churrasco, here we come. Churrasco, let's go ahead and try this out. It looks delicious. It's nice and hot, nice and fresh. They just made it in front of us. All right, here we go. Let's try this out. It has the chimichurri sauce on it. Those of you who don't know what churrasco is, it's basically like a skirt steak cooked a certain way. And then they put this kind of like cilantro sauce on it, like this green sauce. Oh, wow. Chimichurri is delicious. And the steak is like seasoned amazingly. Mm. Not a huge serving, but I definitely recommend. And now our second to last coaster on the challenge is Invader. Invader has been at the park for five years now invading the scene at 2017 invader dons a whopping nine airtime hills and a 74 foot plunge that reaches speeds of almost 50 miles per hour this high throw coaster is a force to be reckoned with as you race through its wooden tracks leaving even the greatest throw seeker amazed and coming back for more now let's get in line and see how quick we could get on invader all right, Invader in the bag. We're almost done, guys. Our last one is Griffin. We're gonna start making our way over there, but I gotta say, you know, I started this little challenge with a bit of a crick in my neck and nothing like a nice, rough wooden roller coaster to make it worse. Last but not least, we're ending the challenge with the second oldest ride on here, which is 15 years old, and that is Griffin, celebrating 15 years at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. The first of its kind, Griffin opened in 2007, featuring 90 degree drops plummeting straight down to earth from a height of 205 feet at a staggering 75 miles per hour. With the longest ride time of three minutes, soar on the wings of the mythical creature and experience the heart-pounding thrills of this B&M masterpiece. Now, let's get on Griffin. Just like that, we finished the whole entire challenge, but we didn't finish it within an hour. So kind of a fail, but we did get all of the rides done today. And I had a pretty good time doing so while also eating some of the items here at the Food and Wine Festival, because it's still the Food and Wine Festival if you guys haven't checked it out. I'm, I'm finishing it off with Old Virginia, getting the sheet crab soup, and then I got myself like a creamsicle beer. It tastes actually pretty good. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this food. I enjoyed bringing you guys along with me on this challenge that I failed horribly at, but still had a ton of fun filming it for you guys. Let me know down below which one of these five rides that is hitting their historic milestones is your favorite. For me, actually, the one that's my favorite is not even on the list. It's Apollo's Chariot here at the park, but if I had to pick from today's rides, Griffin was probably the smoothest and the shortest line. Pantheon, obviously, one of the best rides here just because it's the newest and the most advanced, but Griffin just kind of hit home today. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along. I'll see you guys on the next one, but don't forget to ask yourself, have you been entertained?